Pay close attention. What you're about to see is Bible prophecy being fulfilled. Welcome to another edition of YPN News, bringing you news as it relates to Bible prophecy and foretold by Yeshua Hawkins. Well, Jeff, we have, of course, Pope Francis back, back in the, in the news. news again. That's right. Uh, some recent shootings that have been taking place across the nation and a not so friendly bacteria that's doing some serious damage to right. suspectedly healthy people. First, we're going to look at Pope Francis, who was recently welcoming an audience from several dignitaries, among them Mahmoud Abbas, the head of the Palestinian Liberation Organization. Now, while in Rome, the two met, exchanged gifts, and apparently discussed the peace plan that's been in the works for the last two and a half months. Now, recently we reported about that being a nine-month process. That's that the one we've been hearing about, the nine months. That's right. And if you remember, uh, not too long ago, uh, Israel Hawkins also talked about a nine-month time period, uh, describing it as the nuclear baby. And in fact, he wrote it in great detail in his book, Birth of the Nuclear Baby, The Explosion of Sin. You can get that book to find out a lot more details as to how things are going to unfold in this time period. But listen closely at the end as Abbas acknowledges the time allotted for this peace process as being nine months. Take a look. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you very much. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you. Thank you. أنا سعيد جدا أن ألتقي بكم لأول مرة. أشرف بي أن أكون هنا في الفاتيكان. أتحدث Nos visita en nombre de paz y nos trae la bendición de Dios. Muchas gracias. With Israel, we started our talks with the Israelis since two months and a half. The time, uh, the time which allocated for the, the talks is nine months. I hope during this period we can achieve something. It depends on both sides and it depends on the American uh, uh, efforts, which are excellent. Nine months. Yeah, interesting. We'll see how that unfolds. Well, our next article takes us to Dallas, Texas, where the question is being asked, is law enforcement going too far? Now, at 12 p.m. on Monday, a man by the name of Bobby Bennett was pacing in the street in front of his home. The 53-year-old man suffers from schizophrenia and lives at home with his mother. Now, she said that he was off his medication at the time and was concerned for his safety. Mm. 
Uh, his mother, Joyce Jackson, said that she did feel the need to call 911. Uh, and she also said that they were aware that it was a mental health call when they arrived as Bennett was sitting in the chair in the middle of the street. Their guns were drawn when they ordered him to drop a knife. Now, Bennett then stood up with his arms to his side and then suddenly, without any warning, at least one of the officers fired four rounds hitting Bennett in the stomach. Well, Bennett's mother said regarding the incident that the video makes her sick, but that she's grateful for it because it proves the officers lied when they said he lunged at them with a knife. Now, both witnesses at the scene and the victim's mother said that the shooting was unwarranted. Yet Bennett faces a charge of aggravated assault of a public servant. Hmm. And, of course, the video proves otherwise. Yes, more like an aggravated assault by a public servant. That's right. Now, we now turn our focus excuse me, over to another shooting where a young lady who returned home after two decades uh, mur murdered both her mother and older brother. Now, there's been a lot of um, shootings by a lot of women in, in the news lately, Larry. It seems like it's kind of a trend that's starting to pick up. Uh, question is, uh, did she act on this alone or was there someone else involved? Reports are that she did not act alone and that 43-year-old Josephine Ruckinger, along with her husband, Jeffrey Ruckinger, appeared at her parents' home in Asheville on Friday night. Her mother, father, and brother were all in the residence, and her 64-year-old mother, Roberta Fru, answered the door. Their following, authorities say, Josephine shot her mother in the chest, and the injury took the senior's life instantly. Josephine's brother, 47-year-old John Jr., then went for a rifle for protection, but was beat to the draw as the husband, Jeffrey, killed him with a chest wound as well. Alerted by the gunshots, the father, John Sr., emerged from another room with the 22 caliber handgun and shot both his daughter and his son-in-law. He said later, however, that he was not aware that it was Josephine and her husband. The final reports say the mother, brother, and husband all died in the home. Josephine herself, who had been estranged from the family for 20 years following allegations of vandalism, died sometime later in a hospital. Police are said to still be without an official motive and are at a loss to explain the ferocity of the young couple's anger and the cruelty of their wrath. For IPN News, I'm Larry McGee. Gatan Jeff, back to you. Well, we appreciate your report, Larry. Well, now from a deadly shooting to a deadly bacteria. This particular bacteria, which breeds in the water, has been identified as the cause of a Florida man's death. Now, Florida officials are on high alert, cautioning anyone who has open wounds to stay out of the water. Wow. Uh, the bacteria is known as Vibrio volnificus. Mm -hmm. Big word there. Uh, this is the bacteria that struck silently but swiftly taking the life of 59-year-old Henry Konitsky. He and his wife, Patty, had gone crabbing among Central Florida's intercoastal waterway when he was apparently infected. Now, when they got home, Konitsky just thought he found a spider bite. Henry's wife, Patty, recalled, about two o'clock in the morning, she said he woke up, his legs were aching, and he felt like there was some sort of burn on his ankle. Now, just about four hours later, a man who had been perfectly healthy had developed lesions all over his body. Now, Patty continued, he's never been diagnosed with any health problems ever. So you have a perfectly healthy man here coming down with all sorts of uh, health troubles in just a few hours. Yeah, in a short, very short amount of time. That's amazing. Now, at the hospital, doctors said the bacteria was eating Henry alive, shutting down his organs, and a mere 28 hours later, he was dead. Uh, this bacteria, Patty explained, creeped through his body like acid. It was just the most horrific thing I've ever seen in my life, she continued. Well, ABC News Chief Health and Medical Editor Dr. Richard Besser said it's extremely rare for someone without any medical problems or the picture of health to get this infection and die. Now, officials now know that this bacteria that plagues the Gulf Coast every year from Texas all the way to Florida 
has killed nine people so far this year and infected at least 27 others. Oh. Uh, people with pre-existing liver or kidney conditions are 80 times more likely to be susceptible to this type of bacteria. Now, the CDC says to protect yourself in water that's brackish, that's, uh, you know, slightly salty, as uh, is the mixture of river and, 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 and seawater. Uh, they say, what they say, the CDC says, is wear protective boots. All right. Uh, now, state health officials have confirmed that another way to contract this bacteria is by eating raw, tainted self shellfish and usually oysters. They wow. seem to be the culprit. That same bacteria. That's right. That's right. Well, all these trends that we are seeing in the news come from a system that does not teach the ways of peace. In fact, this same lawless system has taught mankind to avoid the very laws that would stop all suffering in the world. Now, however, prophecy shows that there is a time period coming when nothing but the laws of peace will be taught to mankind. Yeshua Hawkins of the House of Yahweh has made it his goal to warn the entire world of what rejecting these laws of peace will bring. Stop being a part of the problem and become part of the solution. Don't wait another day to call or write the House of Yahweh and get the information that is vital to your salvation and survival of the soon coming nuclear wars. Now, you can call or write the House of Yahweh and request your free Prophetic Word magazine and monthly newsletter. You can do so by writing P.O. Box 2498, Abilene, Texas 79604. You can call them at 1-800-613-9494. You can also visit them on the web at www.yahweh.com and www.yeshrohawkins.com. You can send them an email at info at yahweh.com. And all calls outside the United States, please dial the number on your screen. Well, don't go anywhere. Up next is Yishra Hawkins, teaching you the very laws of peace. For all of us here at YPN News, I'm Jeffrey Heimerman. And I'm Katana Alexander. Thanks for watching.